shave it. <laughs> Quit following me. But we've been brainwashed into trying to live up to this Instagram Photoshop uh, example of what beauty is. And you know what? Some girls do look like that, but fuck them. No, some girls do look like that. <laughs> There's always gonna be something you don't like, and we have to stop faulting ourselves for things that are very normal, right? I've got cellulite. What if he doesn't want to have sex with me because I got cellulite? Well, 100% of women have some form of cellulite. So if he doesn't want to fuck you because you got cellulite, he better start fucking dudes because <laughs> there's no other option until the robots take over. <laughs> Moreover, he doesn't want to have that conversation. A guy doesn't find it attractive when you verbalize over and over how much you hate something. You're like, let me tell you that. You didn't see it? I show it to you. Look at that. It's a, I make a face out of it. He doesn't. The conversation he wants to have is the following. Let me ask you a question. Are you going to continue to breathe during intercourse? You're like, yeah, it's planning on. He's like, then we're cool. <laughs> now holds up in court. <laughs> I found out. But I've got this and chub and I don't like my arms and I have stretch marks from growing from an infant. <laughs> and you know what? I don't want to be this like hand holding, like every woman is perfect. Look, you, you might not be perfect, okay? I'm not here to judge that if you're not, if you are. What I am here to say is it's up to you to decide how much you love your body and fuck everybody else. Don't fuck them because, not literally, but <laughs> if it makes you feel good, it probably won't. Uh, <laughs> It's up for you to decide because we get so upset. And you know what? The guy that you like probably isn't even gonna notice the thing that you hate. Most people won't. Men won't. Most of the things you don't like about your body, a guy's not gonna notice. They're not that observant, okay? 40% of men can only see like three colors. Like 40% of the men in here don't know that that's red. Yeah, notice it's a hollow laugh. 40% of the men are like, oh, fuck. Siri, what is red? <laughs> and again, you might have a perfect body. You might not have a great body. I don't know what you got going on under that tarp, okay? You could have <laughs> blown out the whole region with a bad wax strip. I don't know. But what I do know is this. Whatever you have as a woman, whatever your body looks like, girls, however bad you think it is, pales in comparison to the look of 100% of scrotums! but you have two dead baby birds hanging. <laughs> Sir, bat-like, hanging. Sometimes so low they're in the toilet water. <laughs> hanging. Notice every guy here is either laughing, smiling, or like not making eye contact with me. <laughs> because it's never occurred to men to question their bodies. Every guy in here is like, well, wouldn't you want this on your face for free? Like they don't. <laughs> If we are to move forward as women, as feminists, we need to decide that we won't be shamed for what our bodies look like naturally either, okay? And just so you know, gentlemen, it's something that we tolerate, but it's not something that we fantasize about. <laughs> it's just the way it is, so we never really question it, but no woman in here growing up was like, this is my Backstreet Boys poster, this is NSYNC, and this is a nutsack. Like, none of us. <laughs> It's hideous, and I'll tell you something else, it's a little traumatizing. Because we put effort into the way that we look, and we're sitting there in bed waiting for you to come out, just like you have every night, and you come out of the bathroom naked, and you look at us, and we look at you, and we're like, oh God, there it is. <laughs> Who's the baby?